Hello and welcome to the last episode of building Messerschmitt BF 109. This episode is about weathering. I have made some small scratches with a toothpick after the model was painted. Again, you must be very careful not to do overdo this effect too much. Then I have sprayed a few layers of the clear varnish, but you could already see this in the previous episode. Don't be scared to experiment sometimes a little. I tried how it looked to use a white wash on the wing. Ok, it looks interesting, but I still prefer dark wash anyway. I use dark brown color. It is perfect for German camouflage. I apply AK panel liner wash with a paintbrush to all panel lines and rivets. The wash dry ups after a few minutes. When it becomes this dull, you can wipe it off with a dry paper towel. You can use enamel thinner if you need to clean the wash from small parts. I use the same technique on the rest of the plane. These are all paints Abteilung 502. They are made exactly for modelers, so they have the proper consistency for shading. I mix grey color from black and white. Then I take a small amount of the paint on the brush. This way I can nicely paint shades and highlights on the flaps. It's a quite easy. I do not stop with the flaps only, but I do the shadings on the whole plane. I'm going to make panel lines more pronounced, but this time using a dark panel liner. I use highly diluted panel liner with enamel thinner. It becomes matte after it dries up. Even if you have an airbrush, the best and most detailed shading is always achieved with a paintbrush. Never underestimate the power of a humble paintbrush. I imitate the dust in the undercarriage with a brown oil paint.
I have already shown you washes and oil paints. Now let's continue with dry pigments. You can create very nice effects when you use them correctly. If you are building armor fighting vehicles, then you probably know pigments better than me. I apply pigment called Europe Earth into undercarriage shaft and fix it with a pigment fixer. Now I continue with the same technique on the wheels. I add some light sand to you. The dry pigments are greasy, so this time I do not use pigment fixer. I just clean the wheels with a dry cotton swab. And here you can see the difference between pigments and washes. It is immediately apparent. I imitate some sketches with a form and silver color. It's a quite easy technique, but the results are more or less random. Very interesting effects on the model are traces of the exhaust gases from the exhaust pipes. I paint the base layer with a brown color and then I spray it with a light brown and a dark brown. Next, I apply the dry pigments. And now a small bonus in the end, painting and wearing of a fuel tank. As you have already seen, the base coat is painted with a silver color and the top layer is painted with alarm paints. I make a scratches using a toothpick. The fuel tank still looks a little dull, so I add some spilled fuel. AK products for engine oil and kerosene leaks are just what I need. And that is really all for today. The model is finally finished. Thanks for watching and see you next time.